Hi, Paul here from Tack Rock Music. Today we're going to look at the Logic Pro Session Drummer and see how we can channel that into addictive drums. By doing this, we can expand on the sounds and versatility of what we want to achieve, and we can change the, the Session Drummer uh, style and different play patterns, and it will channel directly into addictive drums. So let's get started. Creating drum tracks in the new Logic Pro Session Player is very easy to do, but if you wanted to take it a step further and take the Session Player Drummer and input it into a third party uh, program like Addictive Drums, it's very easy to do. So let's take a look at that. So start by opening up a project, select a Session Player Drummer, and you can select the style that you want here. So we're going to pick, uh, let's say, Modern R&B, and we click Create. Now we have our Slow Jam Acoustic Drummer Modern R&B here, so we just take a listen to that. Okay, and as always, we can click the drum kit here change it to uh, whatever we like. So let's say pop rock, for example. Logic Pro Drummer on its own is very good, but we can also add in addictive drums, which is, it takes it a step higher. So what we need to do first is decide on the style that we want. So let's say pop rock, which we've just selected here. Uh, the one thing that we need to do is come over here where we have SoCal chosen. We have to click multi-channel kits. So I'm going to click this and we're going to pick the same kit name. So SoCal with the plus as a producer kit. And now what happens is we have all of the individual outputs from the drum kits that are present here. By hitting the down arrow, we can see all of those. We're interested in the overheads uh, channel, which we'll talk about in a moment. The next step we need to do is hit the plus key. We're going to select a software instrument, and in this case, I'm going to pick Addictive Drums and Multi-Output also. Addictive Drums is a program that you need to purchase, so I have purchased this, and it comes with a few kits, and then you can buy extra kits and add to it as you, as you expand. So we select Addictive Drums, select Create, and now we have Addictive Drums. Here is the interface. So what I normally do is I'll take instrument two and I'll change this to addictive drums so that I, once I get a large project going, I know what this is. Uh, we can even change the icon by right clicking and go to drums. And then we can pick a kit just to keep track if we want. So that makes it a little bit easier to follow. The next step is to click edit. And this gives us our channels down here. If we click the down arrow on the bottom left kick here, we can route, or route, route, I guess is the right word, route all channels to uh, separate out, separate outputs post fader. So we click this. Now what we've done is taken all of the MIDI information that's going to come in here and actually send it to the correct output. So we got kick, snare, hi-hat, toms, etc. So that's what we need to do on this side. Next thing, we'll close this window, go to our mixer, and then still on the Addictive Drums um, panel here, we come down to the mixer and we see the little plus sign here. So we're going to click this until it stops adding in all of our channels. So this is all of the channels that we just mapped out in the main Addictive Drums um, menu. Uh, later on you can change all these names to the proper um, outputs and then save it as a template. I've done that before. Uh, for now I'm just going to leave it like this. So now what happens is we have our SoCal drum kit. And if we expand that you'll see that down here in the mixer that we have all of these outputs running. So the next step is we need to map this information into addictive drums. So if we hit the Apple zero key, this will bring up our IO routing. 
And what we'll what we need to do is take the SoCal overheads, which is this right here. So you can see it highlighted here, and we want to take it to the addictive drums. channel one, which is right here, which is right beside here. So we take the overheads. So we simply take this little arrow right here. So overheads is the Logic Pro drum. So we just click that little arrow here and we drag a routing cable over to Addictive Drums channel. So now we're going to be pushing the MIDI information from the Logic Pro drummer into Addictive Drums. We can close this window now. So let's just check to make sure this has worked. Now the easiest way to tell is if we, we should be able to mute all of these Logic Pro outputs now. So I'm just going to do that. And then open up here. And when we play this, we should be able to hear the drums through addictive drums. So let's see if that works. So as you can hear, that sounds great. So now we have two really cool options. First of all, we can go back into the drummer, click the edit, and everything, anything we change here will route correctly into addictive drums. So for example, if we just listen here, we can change the complexity and intensity. You'll see how it changes. So as you can see, as I was changing the Logic Drummer, the pattern changed here. We have this whole Logic Drummer muted, but it's channeled into Addictive Drums. So that's the first thing that's really cool. So we can make adjustments with Logic Drummer and it channels directly into Addictive Drums. So that's the one part that's very helpful and useful to do. The second part is we can go into Addictive Drums, click the panel and now we can adjust and play around with the kits now. So let's take a look here. So we, as we're playing it, we can select the different kits too. As you can see, we have the full complement of the Addictive Drums now, so we can fine tune with the Logic Pro drummer to get the sound and patterns that we like. Then we can go into Addictive Drums and work on the sounds and do use all of the very useful tools in Addictive Drums to make the uh, uh, fine tune the sound. Now there's one caveat here. If we go back into the SoCal drums. If we want to change the acoustic drummer from pop rock to a different session drummer, when we do that, it breaks the, the uh, MIDI channel. So we have to redo the channel. So for example, we'll take a look here. If we, let's say we want to go to hard rock, we're changing the session player. So we go ahead and do that. So now what's happened is we've broken that uh, MIDI forwarding uh, cable. So we have to go back into our session here and we have to take this chord here and drag it over to Addictive Drums again. And then we have that back again. And again, we can still make all the adjustments here in Logic Pro Drummer. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have any extra uh, advice to add in there, please let me know. Thanks.
A lot of times YouTube will bring you my videos even though you haven't subscribed. If you like what you see, please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell.